starts because we're preparing for the final qualifying the 2018 uh, World Cup and against Egypt. Well, there's a game many have said that is not important, but Coach Kisiapia and the FA uh, consistently have been justifying why this game is very important. Egypt have already qualified in that group and we'll see what will happen on Sunday. But the captain of the team, Asamajan, is struggling for fitness ahead of the game on Sunday. Well, yesterday he actually pulled out of training. Uh, he left a Tuesday's training session complaining of pains in the style and the Kayseri sport player is expected in Accra this morning to undergo further tests to ascertain the severity of the injury. I feel very bad. I, I think so, but um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say now. We have to confirm from the uh, MRI scan and then um, we can confirm the extent of the injury. I bet me about because the first time I'm not uh, keep close to me, so I bet you I'm not going to keep close to me, but if you have a CD, I will say that I'm going to keep close to me. So that was Captain Asamajan, and should Asamajan not recover in time for the game, rest up Belgrade, the striker, that's a Richmond Boachi Adam, will lead the attack, and the informed striker is filled with the support received so far from the keep, uh, people of Cape Coast. Since I came, I've seen an amazing support from the Cape Coast people. I've never been here to play football before, but as I'm here, I've seen that they really support the, the nation, and it's a, a great feeling to have a, a city like Cape Coast to be supporting. And I think we are going to give our best to satisfy them. I think it is an opportunity to showcase Ghanaians that we have a unity and a good team, which we can make amends for not qualifying to the World Cup. For me, I think every day is a new challenge, so I'm always trying to give my best, be disciplined and listen to the coach and listen to those who have been ahead of me like the likes of Asamojan. I always believe in what God will give to me because what he says is true, not what I say. So that was Black Star striker Richmond Bachi Adam speaking uh, there ahead of uh, Ghana's game against Egypt, Godwin, and this Sunday at the Cape Coast. So the, what it means is that the team will continue training today. Tomorrow, uh, they will hold another training session before Egypt. Egypt, uh, they are expected to arrive in the country on Friday and will hold uh, one training session at the stadium. That's the Cape Coast Stadium before the game on Sunday. The game uh, on Sunday will be at exactly 3 p.m. We'll do more here uh, as we build up to the game on Sunday in Cape Coast. But one player who uh, will be missing out of this game is Andrea Yu. He was uh, excluded or overlooked uh, from the squad, the 23-man squad that Coach Kisiapia named for this very squad. Well, he plays club football for West Ham United. And uh, if you've been following the news uh, recently, they sacked their manager Slavan Bilic following their poor form in the English Premier League. And they brought in uh, David Moyes, the man who led Sunderland to relegation last season to save the club in this season's English Premier League. Well, so David Moyes has been outlining his vision uh, in the first uh, press conference. I have, if I had taken over West Ham at the start of the season, Adam was saying to West Ham, let's do a year at a time. So as it is, I'm taking over a couple of months into the season and I'm happy to go to the end of the season. Gives me a chance to look at the East End of London, uh, work at the club here, and it also gives the supporters and the, the board here a chance to see David Moyes working. Do you know something I think I do have a point to prove yet? Yeah, I do. I think I've got, I think maybe I have to do that and, and show it. And uh, sometimes you have to repair, repair things and maybe I've got a little bit to repair. We need the players to take responsibility as well, you know, I've said a few times, it can't always be the managers who are bad. The players have got to show that they're, they're good enough to play for the club. They've got to show that they're big enough to play in this stadium in front of a really passionate support. So show that. I'm here, I'm here and I'm on a job and I'm on a mission in my own head as well. So uh, if they step out of line, they'll not play. Step out of line, you won't play. You don't run, you won't play. You know, if you don't do the training and you're not fit enough, you don't play. So the players will be, I've been told, I can only tell eight of them just now. So David Moyes obviously is ready to, you know, help uh, West Ham United change their fortunes in the ongoing English Premier League. But this weekend, no English Premier League games is international break. And we're focusing on World Cup qualifiers, 2018 World Cup qualifiers. So from one manager, we'll move to another manager in the English Premier League. That's uh, Mauricio Pochettino. He's manager of uh, Tottenham Hotspur and he's done so well for the club. He has transformed them from a mid-table team now to a top four 
team. Last season, they ended up in the top four. They came uh, second, yes, uh, in the English Premier League. And this season, they are doing quite well in both the UEFA Champions League as well as the domestic season. There's the English Premier League, the Carabao uh, Cup, as well as the FA Cup. Well, he has committed uh, his future at the club despite interest from Spanish giant Real Madrid. My dream is, is to be here. My dream is, is to achieve all the dream that we have and to help the club to achieve all the, the, the dream that, that have. But I am a person that very spontaneous person, very natural, and always my, in, in my head is always to think in today, tomorrow, and then tomorrow after tomorrow. And football, you know how is football. And uh, of course, uh, I am so, my commitment with the club and with Daniel is, is complete. And of course, and then depend, of course, more than them than me, no, to, to be here. Uh. And after such a blistering career, you know, uh, beginning to his career, that's Jack Woshe, uh, at Arsenal. Things at some point in halfway of his, uh, you know, career at Arsenal, uh, when the, some way that things were not really going well for the man. Now he had to leave uh, for loan, he went to Bournemouth. And then now he's back at Arsenal, but he's struggling to get uh, much playing time. But Dakosha says he's not leaving the club in January, as he's been reported. He will continue to stay at the club and fight for a place. I've said before in many interviews that I've just come back to full fitness. I'm happy with where I am, you know, playing wise, I'm trying to get into the, the Premier League team and, and fight my way into that team. So moment I'm concentrating on, on the now, you know, the future will take care of itself. All I've got to do is, is stay fit and play my football. There's a World Cup though coming in the summer. Some people are saying you might have to move to get an England place. I mean, what do you think about that? Uh, no, you know, I've, I've got a great relationship with the boss. I've heard the boss speak in previous press conferences and, you know, he's assured me that I will get some playing time. And, you know, I want to I want to stay at this club. I've said that many times. I left last year to get some, to get some football. I've done that. I'm back now. You know, I'm fit and I'm ready to play. So that was Arsenal bit for that Jack Walsher. So from football, let's talk some boxing. And if you've been monitoring, uh, last uh, Monday we brought you a bout uh, involving Deontay Wilder and Stevenson. And you saw how Deontay Wilder in uh, first round finished off his opponent. Well, after the bout, he dead Anthony Joshua, who uh, is also a champion in the uh, other division of the heavyweights. Now, Anthony Joshua holds the WBA an IBF title there and for uh, Deontay Wilder he is holding the WBO and he has dead Anthony Joshua well uh, that was after his bout against Stevenson which he won in round one well Anthony Joshua has also been speaking and uh, about uh, what Deontay Wilder wants from him Eddie Harris don't wait make the date you're gonna meet with my people soon tomorrow as that don't make no more excuses you believe in him so much when he don't even believe in himself. You say he would knock me out in three rounds. You say I fought bombs. You say I haven't done nothing. Then if it's so easy, if I haven't done nothing, and it seems like I would be so easy, then why haven't it been a rush? Don't wait. Make the date. Yeah, Wilder didn't pull any punches about his desire to show AJ who's boss. He claims he's the king of the ring and will prove it by knocking Joshua out when the fight gets made. My style and Joshua's style, it do not mix like water and oil. It do not mix. My style is perfectly made for Joshua's style. It's just like playing paper, paper, rock, scissors. You know, I am his paper over his rock. I am his scissors to his paper. <laughs> this would be an easy fight. And don't be surprised if it would be a, almost a simulation of my performance when I demolished Burns to burn in the first round. I'm the most exciting heavyweight in the game right now. I hit the hardest. I'm the toughest. I'm the meanest. I'm agile. I'm mobile. I'm hostile. I got a heart of a lion. I am the king. And if I'm not, then please show me who is. And if you show me, put him in front of me and let's prove it in the ring. I will knock Anthony Joshua Wilson. Squad! Deontay Wilder wants to call me out, no problem. I've already had a meeting about that, but the difference between me and him is 
I don't just say what I say to please people, I mean what I say. So I don't do my negotiations in public. I don't do business in public. You know, we had a meeting. Wilder seems to say that I'm ducking him and that he's really interested in fighting me. And there's not been any office to say, Andy, look, we've got this venue free on this day. We've got this uh, broadcaster and that broadcaster and this broadcaster interested in taking the fight. And these are the terms and conditions of the fight. I haven't had anything like that. So I said, no problem. So it seems to me that there's interest, but it's not a serious interest. And it will be very interesting to see that bout happen. Uh, John Wilder, who is the WBC uh, heavyweight champion, also Anthony Joshua, the WBA IBF heavyweight champion. It will be very, very interesting. Now we have to uh, wrap up. And uh, in wrapping up, uh, we'll talk the ATP World Tour finals. And the groups uh, have been announced. The draw for the ATP Tour Finals was conducted in London on Wednesday and six-time champion Roger Federer headlines Pete Sampras's group for the tournament that gets underway next week in the UK. While Federer's longtime rival and world number one Rafael Nadal features in Boris Becker's group. There are three debutants among the eight players set to take part with several big names including 2016 winner Andy Murray and four-time champion Novak Djokovic missing out due to injury. One of those debutants is 20-year-old Alexander Zverev who's had a massive 2017, winning five events and shooting up to third in the ATP World Rankings. He is paired with Federer. Croatian Marin Cilic and American Jack Sock complete the Sampras group, while first-timers Grigor Dimitrov and David Goffin join Dominic Team and Nadal. Goffin has never qualified for the tournament but played a game last year as an alternate. So that's how we end sports this morning here on the AM Show. I'm Benedict Tosu. As always, a pleasure coming in your way on this program. We are back tomorrow with more sports news. Remember, tomorrow, Gordon, is Friday. So we'll talk all the World Cup qualifiers. We'll talk the Black Stars. We'll also uh, we'll do the other qualifiers uh, here on the show. Other friendly matches will be played as well. A very good morning to Roland Walker. Uh, he is a fan of the Black Stars. And I'll take him to Cape Coast to see the game on Sunday. Well, if you're in Cape Coast, make sure you, you make your way to the stadium on Sunday. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Until then, get to the Manja Online Sports page and read more sports stories for us. So if you follow us on Twitter, we are Joy Sports GH on Facebook. You get us at Joy Sports. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of the program after this short break.